my heart speaks out of the darkness and into the light. Our heart speaks, and we can change the world. My heart speaks like a river run wild. Like we need to gain back our dignity that was lost, and we stay in the community like any other human being. The title says it all: XLRA abductee struggle to survive. After being taken away by the rebels, they separated us into two groups, the group of 30 and 109 girls. The 109 girls were to go back with Sister Rakele while we remained, the 30 of us remained with the rebels. <laughs> the reading of the, the children's rights, the UN children's rights, touched me so, so much. In my country, very many children's rights, uh, children's rights are being uh, abused and it touched me so, so much. And I wished uh, something is done to help them out just like this. You should be taught peace, understanding, tolerance, and friendship among all people. Out there, where war took place, like in northern Uganda, so many children are suffering. So many women are suffering. They don't have what to eat sometimes, where to stay, and they have been rejected by their own people just because they were abducted. I'm very inspired by your story. The speech was very motivational, and I would like to help your community. You actually remind me of um, Mother Teresa. Your story was really inspiring, and, and I really want to try and help all of the people in Uganda. Speaks out of the darkness and into the light.